name is Steve Bishop. I'm a golf instructor out here at Rio Salado Golf Course in beautiful Tempe, Arizona, where it's about 93, 94 degrees, and it's about mid-March. So all you guys up north are probably envying us down here, but uh, I'm telling you right now, it's pretty hot. It's uh, I'm sweltering and I'm sweating. So anyway, today's lesson is going to be about the release, and I think a lot of people have been anxious to hear some more information about the release. And I'll tell you right now that if you're looking for distance and you're looking to, to really hit that ball far, I think the key component to hitting that ball further is in the release. Now I see all sorts of releases, but I definitely would say that there's one primary release that I see amongst most amateurs, and that is what I call the right shoulder pull around. Okay? What I mean by that is the right shoulder instead of releasing to go towards the target and letting that arm go oops, it just released the ball, or released the club at the ball <clears throat> instead of letting that right shoulder go underneath the chin and letting the right arm extend most people try to get the right shoulder around this way now they may be releasing out here or they may be releasing back here but either way you notice that that right shoulder goes around Okay. And this causes many, many problems because the club is no longer able to go from the inside and release down towards the target, but instead it comes outside and then tries to throw across the body. And you can really see this pretty commonly. You'll see people trying to do this sort of thing, or they're using their body to, to kind of release the club. Now, it's not enough for me to just simply tell you in words what it is that I'm trying to do. What you have to do as, as the golfer who's trying to achieve it is develop a mental picture of what that will look like. And since to me the release is kind of the actual ultimate, kind of the goal of everything, I mean it isn't the goal, the goal is actually the finish. But if I develop a mental picture of where I want to go and a snapshot in time of where I want to be, that's what I want to develop right there, right then and there, because I'm basically trying to throw this club towards my target. And we can talk a little bit about throwing the club in, in another video, but for right now, I just really want you to, to understand that you have to develop a mental picture of what it would look like. I must be making sure that when I'm at impact, or at a, as I'm passing through impact, that. I'm maintaining this angle where I'm looking down at the ball through my eyes this way. I'm not up here like this in the air standing up. I'm actually angled over the ball and letting my right arm pass underneath me as I'm still looking at the ball or where it would have been, right? And, I'm let, and then I'm shaking someone's hand with an extended arm. That's what's going to create a good release. There's a couple other things we can observe, but we don't necessarily want to intend to do. That is, number one, the left arm is going to start to fold. You're going to start to see it kind of fold, just like the right arm folded on the back swing here. It starts to fold and coil. On the forward swing, the left arm starts to fold and coil. Okay? Combined with the extension of the right arm, that left arm starting to bend and coil like this, putting the club over your, shoulder on, uh, over your left shoulder on the forward swing is what's going to help create a nice natural release. The other thing is that my weight has shifted forward by my lower body moving forward. My upper body is still, again, since my right shoulder is going underneath my chin, I don't want to be over here because notice I can't get my right shoulder under my chin. Now it's starting to hit me in the chin. I want it to go underneath my chin. In order for that to happen, my upper body actually stays slightly behind the ball. So these things combined, again, I'm going to have my right shoulder go under my chin and I'm going to extend my right arm so that I'm shaking the hand of someone out there. We're going to see that toe of that club is actually pointing up in the sky and the club is almost pointing directly at the target. Again, I'm going to develop this mental picture. I'm still going to be looking at the ball. I'm going to let my right shoulder pass underneath my chin and I'm going to shake someone's hand out here with my right hand. And that's going to create a nice, strong, powerful release. That was very exaggerated, but I want you guys to develop that mental picture. Again, it's this. Not this. This is not a release. This is. I hope this lesson helps you out with your release. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. 
Uh, my email address is ringer at softhome.net. That's S-O-F-T-H-O-M-E dot net. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, you can also visit my website at golfinstruction.biz. I have lots of these videos up there. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, have, a, have a great day golfing.